Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to some more Hearthstone, a new week, a new Tavern Brawl. This week's Tavern Brawl is going to be Double Death Rattler Battler, which is uh, going to be death is not quite the end because minions with death rattle will now trigger their rattle twice, which is pretty interesting. So for example, a leper gnome will do four damage rather than only two, and of course we will get a card pack for actually completing this. And actually, I'm recording this on Sunday. I forgot that Tavern Brawls don't like run the entirety of the week. I was like, wait a minute, did I miss this week's Tavern Brawl? That would have been horrible, because I've of course done an episode of the Tavern Brawl every single week it's come out for months now. And to miss it, I think that would just be awful. So good thing uh, it's still running here. I'm able to record it today for you guys. And we can continue this series alive. So if we're going to be triggering Death Rouse, I figure a Priest is going to be the best way to do it. Because Priest always seems to be the most annoying person to go against when you're doing these Tavern Brawls. So we're going to go ahead and put him in there. Now, what other fellows would we like here? Bad Scientist isn't going to help because we're not going to have secrets. Loot Hoarder seems obvious. Nerubian Egg seems obvious. Dancing Sword, obviously not. Death Lord, obviously not. Harvest Golem, yes. Hmm, Little Exorcist, Battlecry, game plus one plus one for each enemy Death Rattle minion, I think yes, I have a feeling most people are going to be using Death Rattle guys, Sludge Vultures of course, Piloted Shredders, although we are running the risk of getting a Doomsayer out of the Piloted Shredders, I think it's a risk we're going to just have to take, Fugan and Stalag I think are just kind of mandatory. Um, Karen Bloodhoof seems good, Sneed seems fun, Sylvanas, Paladin Shredders. Now, the rest of this, the reason I actually chose the Priest here is the Priest has a bunch of annoying silences. And that's why I want to do this, because if I can silence their guys, they're going to be woefully weaker than what they could be if they had a double death rattle going on here. So, uh, Mass of Spell, silence all enemy minions and draw a card. I think so, right? I think so. Shadow Fiend, whenever you draw a card, reduce its cost by one. See, that's going to be a fun card, I think. Uh, of course, we got that with the Grand Tournament, but uh, I just never actually messed around with it much. Let's grab these actual silences, some zero-cost silences. And let's see if there's just any more. Yep, but those are going to be the only two silences that they actually have. So we're going to fill the rest of it, I suppose, with other shenanigans that priests can do. Maybe some uh, Shadow Words? Maybe? But then again, do we really want to be killing things that are generally going to be helping out the opponent? Probably not. Um, I could actually go just put this girl in here because she's a legendary and that could be fun. But I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I'm thinking mind control and maybe we'll put in the confessor in there just because she's a priest legendary I randomly got during my pack openings and I've never actually used her before. So yeah, we'll do it that way. So this will be the brawl deck, I think. Uh, primarily, it's going to be a lot of death row cards, the good death row cards anyway that I think will actually benefit us. Of course, we have some silences in there because I think silences are going to be ridiculously good. Uh, in this particular Tavern Brawl anyway, along with some just good minions, I think, in general. Like the, what's the name of the minion? I forget that uh, gets plus one, plus one, and taunt for every death rattle on the opposite side of the board. I forget the name of that thing. Little Exorcist, I think is the name of it. It's a little gnome. A little gnome girl. So this will be fun, hopefully. Uh, most Tavern Brawls are fun. And, of course, I want to do another episode of the Tavern Brawl because we've done it every single week. And I was, like, freaking out this morning. Because, like, okay, so I woke up, right? Let me, let me explain to you guys my day. We're facing a mage here. I wake up. Right, wake up, uh, come to my office here, and immediately go and check out Heroes of the Storm, because Heroes of the Storm is really, really fun, and I've been starting to play as Murky, really, really enjoying that, and so I played a bit of games as Murky, and then I'm like, alright, so it's getting to be, heck, what time is it, it was getting to be about 11.30 or so, and of course, football season starts today on Sunday, which is going to be 1 p.m. Eastern, so that is going to be in about an hour's time for me. Uh, is when football season starts. And so I'm like, all right, so I should start rendering out my, start ending together so I can start rendering my Madden video. Then I'm going to head over to my cousin's house, right? We're going to watch football there. That's going to be fun stuff. But then I realized the Tavern Brawl, like, immediately it hit me. I'm like, I forgot all about it. And we're going to coin, I think, here into a... I think about that was probably a bad play, coining into the Harvest Golem, because I have no turn three play. Then I'm like, oh, no, the Tavern Brawl, I completely forgot all about it because I've been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm lately. Uh, that's really been my thing. I've been playing Madden and recording stuff during the day, of course. See, this person knows running silences is a good thing. Um, I'm playing a lot of Madden during the day and, of course, making videos and such. And it's kind of a sad trade-off right there, but I kind of have to do it. Just been busy, I suppose, which is hard to say a YouTuber like me has been busy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just really haven't had time to do the new Tavern Brawl this week. I was aware of it. I knew it was going to be Double Death Rattle. 
So I immediately like thought ahead a little bit. That's why I was so quick at putting together my deck. I'm like, yeah, so I get the good death round minions. I get some silences in there as a priest. Just annoying things in general. I think would be pretty good there. But this priest here seems to be running some silences, which I'm not a fan of. But we got the old shredder. And you want know, to think about it, the Nerubian Egg, obviously the benefit is there, right? The Nerubian Egg is going to, if it dies, it summons two four fours, which is fantastic. But I have no way to really trigger that. The only way I can trigger it is AoE. I guess having the Nerubian Egg on the board actually stops the mage from wanting to use some of its AoE. So that's actually kind of a good thing, I think about it. But yeah, here's the Storm's Fun. It's just one of those games, I'm not sure how to record it, because I lose a lot in that game. But I do play with friends at night, but that's more of like a laid-back chill session. And everyone just kind of laid back and playing and stuff. And I don't know if that's something I necessarily want to record. But here's the Storm's really, really fun. It's a MOBA-style game, similar to League of Legends, similar to Dota. That kind of idea. Um, that is not even a Death Rattle card. I don't know why you have that there. But we're going to run you into you, so I get the effect of my double Death Rattle. Which is going to be, uh, <laughs> my hero power deals one extra damage? How does that even, how does that even work? I don't know. And then we run the Sludge Belcher, and then I guess we're good. But I like having a golden, uh, Paladin Shredder, because you end up getting a golden Fallen Hero and a golden Sorcerer's Apprentice. Anything you could get out of there is going to be gold. Okay, that Explosive Sheep is going to do four damage to everybody. Which is all but going to wipe my board. I can silence it. I can silence it. I just realized. There we go. I got two silences. Just two zero mana cost silences sitting right here. Freaking beautiful, man. Then we get out the old Paladin Sky Golem. Which I rarely see this card actually getting played. So that's going to be fun. We got Fugin in there, but I'm not worried about Fugin. Let's silence off that fella. Get you out there. And now we're gonna choose to go face because we don't need to trade. He's gonna run his uh, he's gonna run what he has on the board, plus probably ping down my guy, which is gonna summon two one two taunts. Uh, and that's of course gonna do four damage to me because Leper Gnome. So gotta keep that in mind. But we got this pile of golem out there, so when he dies, two four cost minions are gonna come out. And generally four cost minions are usually pretty good. They're up there in the health and attack category. So that'll be fun. Definitely always it's always fun playing out the shredders. To see what you get there, which is why I'm hoping I get Sneed. I'm hoping to draw Sneed's old shredders so I can put that out on turn eight, just put that out on curve. That would be great. Just because, you know, getting two random legendaries, or if I can get, uh, what's her name out? The Confessor or something or other, the legendary. Where So I use my hero power and summons a random legendary. That could also just be fun. Ah, Dr. Balance. Okay, okay. To be honest, I'm not too worried about Dr. Balance. Not too worried at all, in fact. Not too worried at all. Alright. <laughs> My spells cost one less. I'm, I'm like so close to actually being able to use that. So how do I want to do this? Do I, run, do I want to run... Do I want to run... Yeah. I think we run the 6-4 into here. Alright, so neither one of them are necessarily good. <laughs> Kill off that, obviously. Uh, we're going to put out the old double death rattle draw card in case these things would like to hit me. And so I'm, I'm just going to clear these things. I'm just going to clear them up. Oh, that's so perfect. The Oasis Snapjaw is going to sit there and soak that damage for me. That's beautiful. Alright, so we killed off one of them, and we can heal up you to save that thing from being pinged. There we go. So yeah, but four drops I got were not very good. Gnomish Inventor, uh, who's Battle Cry. The Battle Cry is what makes Gnomish Inventor obviously good. I mean, the 2-4 for 4 is obviously terrible, but the Battle Cry is what makes it a decent card. And the Snapshot is just a big bulky card. Yeah, nothing really great or bad about him, I suppose. He's really good in certain decks if you want to... You know, get put Houndmaster on him, or I have another silence for that thing. That's actually hilarious. That they can, these explosive sheeps would literally like end my in my world. Uh, but I keep I have these zero cost silences just right here, ready to use them. All right, we could get out Fugin, or we could get out get another Shredder. But then again, I have so many people. No, nope, we're about to clear the board a bit. So. I guess I was inefficient to do it that way. I'm, I'm stupid now that I think about it. I'm sorry about that. I hate making little plays like that that are just silly. 
Uh, yeah, I should have ran into the 1-1, one, one, then had this thing run into one of those things. Well, that's silly. Let's get rid of one of the taunts I have, because that seems to make the most sense. Yeah, that was definitely silly of me. I'm sorry about that. I hate making plays like that. <laughs> it's like, whoops, didn't think that went ahead. Wow. The Golden Fallen Hero is pretty nice. It's actually uh, one of my favorite cards for the mage is the Fallen Hero. We, of course, got with the Grand Tournament. Just a really fun card. Just a really, really fun card. We're going to have Polymorph. Who, wait, who is that that was Polymorph? Oh, my Shredder. Okay, I couldn't see the Shredder because it's being covered up by the cards. We got the Confessor. We got the Confessor, and I can use it this turn. And I can use it this turn. So I think we, I think we do. I agree. Take this time to consider your past deeds. You have been measured at <laughs> whenever you, all right. So we get Fajora Lightbane or Fajola Lightbane. Uh, whenever you target this menu with a spell, gain divine shield. Meh, meh, right? Meh. Just gonna keep going face here. Just gonna keep choosing to go face because we don't need to trade. Obviously, we don't want to kill off the pile of or not the pile of shredder. Wow, I'm losing my mind here. The haunted creeper, because that oh the flame strike. Oh, our careers have been ended, but we have two four fours on the board and the double damage up there. That definitely hurts. That definitely hurts. Now, if you were to put more death rattle people on the board, that'd be fantastic. So I could put out the little exorcist and actually get a lot of benefit from her. But no. All right, we're about to fill up the board with little spectral spiders. <laughs> and you're gonna arcane intellect. Yeah, I don't have any AOE in this deck, but it doesn't seem to really matter. Um, none of these guys technically have death right so the legs resists aren't gonna be great here. But will they though? I mean, they have so many little guys. Uh, no, she probably has another flame strike that could just wipe all of these guys at once. So I think we put out Fugan. Do I heal? Well, I guess I can heal myself. And we'll put out one taunt in case she doesn't have any kind of AoE. And uh, the reason why obviously I didn't want to put out two, or I didn't want to heal up the Nerubian, is because Nerubian would still be healed up to four health. And if she does have a flame strike, it's going to kill it off regardless. And it'd just be a waste of a heal. I'd rather heal myself. Because health. Health's good, generally. Another flame strike. Blizzard. Yep, another flame strike. Saw it coming. I put, that's why I only put out the one. Exorcist on the off chance that she didn't have it. Alright. She's holding on to a prayer here. <laughs> and I do have a mind control if she does actually put out anything big and scary. And Sneed! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now Sneed can be potentially hilariously fun. See, I can get two random legendary minions out of this, which could be amazing legendaries. Like if you get the the dream is to I suppose get a Deathwing out of there because you don't have the horror. It's a big 12-12 creature. Wait, would a Thaddeus actually come out of that as well? Like I suppose because Thaddeus is technically a legendary, right? Could Thaddeus come out of Sneed Shredder? I don't know. Thaddeus would be an 11-11. Uh, Deathwing's a 12-12. And obviously, you have to kill Stalag and Fugan to get Thaddeus to spawn on the board. And she concedes. But, uh, you know, the big downside, I suppose, to uh, Deathwing is you have to discard your hand and you clear everything off the board. But if you don't have that big battle cry, you just get big 12 12. That's just amazing. Speaking of Deathwing, what are the chances? What are the chances that with the pack that we just earned, that we get a Deathwing? I actually don't have a Deathwing. I think it'd be cool if we did. Alright, nice. Here's a Storm card back. Nothing. 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 Rare. Nothing. Aww. I have almost everything from the classic set except for a lot of legendaries. I think one or two epics, maybe. But uh, so yeah, when I get packs like that, it's just like, aww. I don't need any of these cards. Let's go in again. Let's go in again. This week's Tavern Brawl might be a little bit shorter. And actually, no, we could probably do it another 30, 40 minute episode or so because, you know, it doesn't take that long to get over to my cousin's house. Again, that's today's football day. It's the opening week for the NFL. It's going to be fun. Uh, of course, I'm in a pretty big fantasy football league, and so we pay a lot of attention to that every single year. And uh, we recently had the draft. I talked about it on Deer Nero, actually. 
Uh, we did the draft up there, and I, I thought I had some good players. Those guys that are interested, I'll just name off a few. Uh, Marshawn Lynch was my keeper. I got Des Bryant in the first round, Tony Romo in the second. Alfred Morris is my second running back. Um, yeah, it's a decent team. It's not amazing, but uh, really depends. But the person I'm facing this week had Roethlisberger as well as Pittsburgh's running back. Who is their running back? Uh, not Jonathan Stewart, but the other one. Uh, he used to play for Carolina. Now he's playing for Pittsburgh. I forget the name. I forget the name, but yeah, he did very, very well this week. And so I'm a little bit behind already because he did pretty well on Thursday. But I think we'll be okay. And we have nothing to play on turn one. Another Heroes of the Storm card back. Right on. Right on. It's a really fun game, Heroes. I, I never thought I would get into like a MOBA, but uh, I did. Alright, so does he want to trade... I mean, he's going to do four damage to me, but I'm going to uh, draw two cards. So that could be pretty good. I'm still trying to think of that running back's name. It's bothering me that I cannot remember it. Jonathan Stewart and who? They were the two running backs for years playing for the Carolina Panthers. Who? I got to lie, it's painting me. Ow. D'Angelo Williams. That's his name. That's his name. It's D'Angelo Williams. He's uh, taking a, he's taking the place for Le'Veon Bell while he's suspended for the first couple of games. That was it. That was it. No, I didn't Google it. You want to stop him Googling it uh, because, you know, I'm recording my desktop right now, so you would have saw that. But, yeah, D'Angelo Williams. But I'm sure a lot of you guys don't care about football, so we're just going to stop talking about that now. We're going to talk more about Hearthstone. And I think I'm going to win this solely by the fact that he is going to – I think he's going to burn out of health too quickly. Being a warlock versus a priest. Now, is there anything? No, there's no real merit to doing anything else. Let's get out the old shredder. Let's start attacking some face. And now, suddenly, we have board presence. Now, some of the things warlocks have, let's see, hellfire could kill off my guys. But here's the thing doing board clears like that generally is going to help. Okay, we're going with a handlock? Question mark? They appear to be rocking a handlock style of a deck. Gotta admit, a little bit confused by it, but whatevs. Now, do I want to tickle it to death, or... No, we'll go face. We'll go face, because he's going he's gonna to want to have to board clear me, I think. I don't know. Because if not, I can kill him off easily between Fugin and my Shredder. I can silence that. I can actually mask the spell. Yeah, I see. He isn't counting the fact that I have silences. Which, I mean, how can you? In reality. Nice mask the spell for you, sir. Run you into you. You into you. Fairy dragon along with a crazed alchemist. Not bad. Not great. And we'll heal up, just because I'm a priest, and that's what I can do. And now, keep in mind, Fugan's already dead, so when Stalag comes out, possibly next turn, uh, it's going to be pretty bad for him. Because keep in mind, double Thaddeus. <laughs> two 11-11s. What could be worse than a Thaddeus? How about two Thaddeus? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's got a board clear. He's got a board clear. Alright, that's pretty scary, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie, it's pretty scary. My master spell does nothing here. Uh, boy. Well, I think I think we Stalag. And then we heal. Because what's funny about Stalag is I can run him into one of his Nerubians next turn. Kill off the Nerubian. Summon two Thaddeuses. And do whatever else I want to do that turn. Be it uh, heal myself up. Be it dispel some of his stuff. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Mass dispel that annoying thing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna have to happen. But geez, he is rushing me down pretty hard. Taking that damage from the uh, giant definitely hurt, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Well, we're gonna have to mass dispel again. Right, another nice mass dispel. Then run you into you. And of course, I think we heal up here. Get out the, and then we get out the Nerubian Egg, I think, as a form of 
stop his board clear if he has board clear. But welcome, Thaddeus. Oh, no, he's got Doomguard. He actually wins. <laughs> this guy didn't even, like, do a Death Round style deck. He just went with, like, a full-on, like, uh, like a handlock deck, and he won with it. <laughs> well done, sir. Well done. Maybe, uh, no, because... Is Doomguard in your standard handlock deck? It's been ages since I messed around with a handlock deck, so I couldn't be sure. But yeah, definitely the deciding factor, I suppose, for that was taking that extra damage. Um, him putting down, the, instead of trying to like trade around or anything like that, him going face and hiding behind his sludge vultures, even though I was able to dispel them, uh, taking that damage from that giant was just simply too much to deal with. Even though we got the double Thaddeus play, we got the dream! We got the dream. But it didn't work. You know, Thaddeus is actually a monstrosity put together from the corpses of women and children. Fun fact. Fun fact. Wow, sometimes it is a dark, dark place, even though it's rated T for teen. Uh, I mean, these three drops are probably, like, the best, lo like, the lowest options I have aside from uh, putting out the Leper Gnomes, right? So, yeah, we'll go with Dark Cultist and the Exorcist, I think, and then probably the Shredder. Eh, we didn't get a great mulligan, but it's better than the one we had. And maybe she'll clean up the board, or fill up the board with just a bunch of death Rob minions. So I'll be able to pull out the exorcist like the light compels you. And then she'll be very angry. And then she'll fireball me or something. Let's see. We're going to coin. Where are we coining into? Where are we coining into? The ruby and egg. The ruby and egg's scary, man. Especially against as a mage. Because she can kill off her own, her own coin pretty easily here. Have a heal. <laughs> I don't have anything to play. Uh, what is it? Two. Okay, so two leper gnomes right now. No, oh, that'd be silly. I, I don't really want that. I mean, sure, I'd buff up my exorcist, but it's not gonna buff up that much. Uh. All right. The damn stand, damn stand ready. Which keep in mind is gonna give off uh, th plus three health to two random friendly minions upon its death, which is actually really really nice. All right, so he's gonna start working on getting out his or her Nerubians. Makes per honestly makes a ton of sense. And should instead of pinging me last turn, she should have probably went for that. Um, I'm thinking we get out our our taunty taunt here My fate is sealed. and start going face, I suppose, because right now she's gonna ping her down her Nerubian egg. At least that would make the most sense. Or that works too. More damage off that way. All right, so now she has three four fours on the board. Kind of terrifying. Hmm. <laughs> but Stalag would just die. So I think we dark cultist again. And. Do I, run, I think I run this into that, and then give a bunch of health off to my random friends. There we go. There we go. And that's some nice extra health there, right? Now I think we go face there for some extra damage, considering the three damage is not actually going to kill. Well, it could have killed off the 4-1. Would well, that have been best? Ah, you and your polymorphs! <laughs> well, again, how can I really complain? I'm a priest with a lot of silences. Alright, double card draw. I'll take it. Double card draw. Uh, Paladin Shredder. All right, so we got both our Shred Shreds. I want to say Confessor Paltris uh, for turn 9, obviously. So when I put her out, I can guarantee that I can Inspire. And then uh, summon a free Legendary. Right now, it seems like the best option would be Paladin Shredder. I don't have anything to silence. Um, I could put out Stalag and did nothing else. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather play on Mana Curve, I suppose. So now she's going to probably go face, yeah. If I can silence off their Shredder, which is actually pretty good. Don't, I don't really know what to do. I think the obvious one is to silence that. Because that needs to be silenced. Um... Then really, is that, well, actually, let's let's run this. In. It doesn't really matter which one of these I go into, so let's just run into that. 
Oh my god! Holy moly! I think we got two very... Uh, those are two of, like, probably the best four drops I could have gotten. Of course, there's some good ones there, but stat-wise, like a 5-4 and a 4-5, that's pretty scary. Pretty freaking scary, man. And I'm not gonna lie, Sludge Vulture hurts a lot here. Sludge Vulture certainly hurts a lot. Uh, and a master spell! <laughs> freaking perfect. And then I, and I get a Sludge Belt as a result. So how much damage do I have on the board right now? 16. Not nearly enough to win. So. Let's do a little board clearing, shall we? Run you into you, and you into you. Board clear. And now she wants to come at me with an AoE. I'm going to get two uh, Nerubians. Ha! Ah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. I'm down to 10 health now that I'm looking at it. Like, this actually isn't good. But, I have a silence. I have a heal! Did I say a silence a sludge vulture? I am so freaking stupid. Okay. You and you. I need a silence. That's what I need. You and you. You and you. We're in board here, and I'm going to keep trying to heal myself up. She puts up something big and scary. We have a mind control. We can also... We can mind control that. Very, very good. <laughs> Wait, what are the chances I get two King Zelix? Do I have lethal? Maybe. Uh, let's see. That's 8, 9, 10. Wait, no. 8... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 damage on board. No actual lethal. Sad face. Alright, so how we do this? And right, right. We give it a big hug. Yeah, I want to see where those bombs go. I, I didn't want those bombs to hit Dr. Boom. You might control Dr. Boom, but keep in mind he's still sleeping from her turn, so I couldn't actually attack with it. But I'm pretty sure that's GG right there. Pretty sure, anyway. Ah? Uh? <laughs> Power blasting face. Yeah, I healed myself just enough that she couldn't kill me. <laughs> that's annoying. Kept trying to rush me down, but like priests do in these tavern brawls, they just kept holding on, holding on, holding on. And they couldn't actually stop me. That's hilarious. Let's go again. Let's go again. Good fun. Good fun this week's brawl, I think. Those Nerubians. You know, initially, the Nerubian egg, a lot of cases, is only good if you can buff it somehow. So you can either run it into a minion or give it taunt or something so it actually takes its death roll effect. But in this week's time of brawl, it's kind of a cool little meta. The Nerubian egg is essentially being like a... The form of it, it's like an AoE stopper. Like nobody wants to AoE at all because they're gonna give me give the opponent two four fours. It's kind of cool. I don't have any AoE in this deck, so I'm fine with it. In fact, I usually just silence them if I can with one of these. I'm gonna like, hold on to that just in case I would need it. But uh, let's grab the Harvest Golem. Ah, come on! I'd really like to get a Leopard Gnome. Leopard Gnome's turn one, man. So good, especially in this brawl, right? Especially against a Warlock. If you rush down the Warlock, what are they going to do? You take away their ability to life tap, and things are good. I'm not going to have a turn one. I don't... I, I wonder... Ah, they have the, the, the turn one Lever Gnome. No fair. No fair. Should I silence the Leper Gnome? No, not yet. I think we do coin into the Harvest Golem because I'm going to need to have things on the board. I can coin Harvest Golem. Okay, he's going to buff up that thing. Which is interesting. Is this a zoo deck? Like a weird kind of a zoo? Alright, so here... I... <laughs> I don't know if that was the right decision to be honest. But uh, here, I think, we silence that now. Harvest Golem. Because now, even if it gets buffed up, it's still going to essentially just be a 2-1 that can't even kill my 
Harvest Golem. I like it. I don't know. It seems it seems okay to me. Clockwork, no. Definitely going with Death Rattles. Dark Bomb. I'm okay with that. I get two one ones. I can clear off what you have on the board. Perfectly okay with that. Perfectly okay. And I, now I can actually heal as well. Nice. You're gonna say you're gonna attack? We're going awful slow here. <laughs> and let's uh, heal up. I like the Blood Imp. Something about I think Blood. But the reason I like it is because he's one of the first cards I got. I think when I was playing around with the Warlock. And I don't know. I always there's something about the Blood Imp I like. Cool little guy. That's a Shredder. See, these are the things I kind of wish I'd be able to save my uh, silences for. But I see your Shredder, and I match you a Shredder. Now you want to have an arms race? We'll have an arms race. Although I'm not super confident in this tech to burst. <laughs> but we do have a Stalag. Implosion! No Fairzies. No Fairzies. The Mighty Millhouse Millstorm! It's the Mighty Millhouse Millstorm! The best two drop you can get! <laughs> that's hilarious. What's he gonna do? He's gonna freeze the Mighty Millhouse Millstorm and a golden armor smith. That's cool. Because now I can armor smith myself some armor. <laughs> Which is fantastic. Um. I think we put out Stalag for the sake of getting out of Stalag. I get myself a little bit of armor, kill off one of his uh, imps, the one two, get myself some armor, do four damage to his face. Now he's gonna run his shredder into my Stalag, and I mean he's gonna get two minions as a result. He could get lucky like I did, but um, it's gonna be okay I think because we want Stalag to die. That's kind of the point of Stalag. So he gets an Elec and a Sheep. That Sheep is actually super annoying. But it's also super annoying for him, actually. I mean, if I kill off that Sheep, it will literally... It will completely wipe the board. Now he's, in the, yeah, see, now he's afraid to actually put anything out on the board. You put anything out there, it's silly, because the Sheep's going to do four damage to everything. So that's hilarious. So many now, I wonder if I were to put out my Nerubian Egg. Would my Nerubians take the two damage or not? Either way, there'd still be two four twos. So it seems. Oh, wait a minute! No, better yet, if I put out the Shredder next turn, oh, the Shredder will blow up as a result. Oh, and then I'll get the guys. And then oh, that's gonna be so good. So good. Thank you for more armor. We're gonna do that. We're not gonna get the Nerubians. In a perfect world, I'd have eight mana and be able to play both of these, and then be able to get two Nerubians and two four cost minions. But uh, we'll have to make do with what we have. So, oh wait, oh he has seven health, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to uh, trigger the effect just yet. So, I think we Shredder. Then I think we kill off this with the Muddy Millhouse Mana Storm. All right. I get a 3-5 Dragon Sorcerer, who's not really going to be able to be benefited whatsoever because I don't have any spells to target him with. And a Windwalker, which is just going to be a 4-4. Yeah, it's essentially an Arubian at that point. Except Arubians cost one less. I think they're 4-4s four or 3. Because the Valkyrie's not going to be able to take effect here. Alright, nice little form of board clear. Which again, I'm okay with because I got Arubian eggs. <laughs> I'm using your Death Rails against you. Ho oh ho! Oh, I can put out a Leper Gnome. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How much damage do you do? Two damage to all characters. He's going to do it twice. All right. Put out you. Put out you. I mean... I think it's hilarious that this thing actually lives. I get a... Fugin out there, and if Fugin dies, two Thaddeuses are coming out. I think we got this Warlock pretty much shut down at this point. Yeah. I mean... Dark Bargain, destroy two random minions and discard two random cards and you can get rid of my Nerubians. I mean, I don't know if I would personally run Dark Bargain, but, uh, to each his own. To each his own. Oh, one turn away from being able to actually use Pale Triss effectively. Uh, yeah. I have no time for games. We'll get out Sylvanas, get out the Gnome, and now, unless he has Silences, it's pretty much over. The Gnome itself will kill it. So, that's pretty much GG. Yep. 
yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I think we'll go for one more game. And win or lose, we'll end it off there. Sounds good, sounds good. I don't know, this week's Diamond Brawl is pretty fun. Double Death Rail is interesting. It just, uh, I suppose the one downside is there's a very limited number of things you're probably going to see there. Like, a lot of decks are going to be pretty similar because most of them are going to feature Death Rattle cards. And there's a very limited number of cards that actually feature Death Rattle. Uh, of course, they tried to expand upon Death Rattle cards a bit during the Curse of Axe Ramus adventure. And that's where a lot of these cards actually came from. But, um, actually, two Loot Hoarders initially is amazing. Plus a Dark Cultist. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take I'll take two, two drops into three. It's amazing. It's really, really good. I would say, perfect world right here. I'll, I'll top deck a Leopard Gnome and start things off. A lot of people seem to be going Warlock. I wonder why. Maybe because they, when they think Death Rally, they think Warlock. Because Warlocks have a lot of ways to trigger Death Rallies, I suppose, with, like, power overwhelming. Mind if I roll need? Ah! I see you're a loot hoarder, and I raised you a loot hoarder. Mind if I roll need? Oh, come out, that hot silence! That hot silence! He's gonna be able to draw two cards. We're played, sir, we're played, we're played. Spot on, Cheerios. Uh, do we want the Nerubian or do we want the rule need? I think we want the rule need, and I think we want a Leper Gnome. Nice golden leper gnome, too. Let's just make a gnome deck. I wonder, ever since the goblins versus gnomes uh, expansion, like, is it, would it be possible to make like a like a goblin deck and a gnome deck? Like a full gnome deck, full goblin deck. Only use cards that feature gnomes or goblins in each deck. That'd be interesting, I think. Come on, two drop. All right. Ah. No, I don't want Mass to spell that. That would just see that, that would really be a waste. Well, the big question, I suppose, then, is Dark Cultist or Harvest Golem? I think the Harvest Golem, because the Cultist isn't really going to be able to give a lot of benefit just yet. Cultist will only really help, so I have another minion on the board. Although, Dark Cultist, just in general, like, just as, like, a general card, I think it's a fantastic card. Like, one of the best cards in the game. Just its stat line, I think, is great. Its death rattle is great. I just think everything about it is pretty good. You know, now I think about it, a knife juggler combined with that would just be insane. <laughs> Simply insane. And speaking of insane, what do I want to do here? I don't want to master spell one card, do I? I don't think. No. Harvest Golem Nerubian Egg? Dark Cultist Nerubian Egg? No, because that would just end up getting the Nerubian Egg extra health and not attack. So yeah, I think we put out this, and I think we put out this since I have nothing to heal. And I think we go face there because, you know, sacrificing myself to the Powdered Shredder would just give me two one ones, which he can easily kill with his spiders. I don't like that. So I'd rather him have to do it this way. Yeah, now he can sacrifice his spiders, but, um, you know, he had to do it and I was able to get damage on the board. Whereas if I would have did it, I wouldn't have done damage to him at all. And the same thing would have ended up happening. Oh no! See, yeah, he's got he, he thought ahead. He's got the knife juggler. All right, he saw the head. He saw the head. Now this is when a massive spell comes in handy. <laughs> Very much so. Very freaking much so. Ah, <laughs> uh, then we no. I don't really want to kill off that. I want to kill off that. I suppose. Wait, no. Why? What? What did I do that for? Oh my goodness! See, my initial thought was like, oh, don't go into the pile of shredder because that's gonna give you two one ones. He's gonna be able to kill them off easily with his uh, one ones. And I'm like, wait a minute, so I can just run into the into the knife juggler. Knife juggler will be fine. I'm like, wait a minute, they're both silenced. Knife juggler's pointless now. Kill the guy with more attack. Uh, whatever. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if he's afraid to do AoE damage right now. I do have a silence. Now the big question is, would it be worth it to silence off the Harvest Golem? I don't have a way of dealing with the two one ones. That would definitely be a pretty big board presence, really. 
and I have more silences in the deck. I'm going for it. I don't know. Probably a mistake. And we're also going to Dark Cultist. Just get a body on the board there. Because he's going to have to start eventually trading, right? Right? You would think. It's also funny he has a silence in Ruby and Egg that is literally saying they're doing nothing. He's thinking. He's thinking off hard. But we're getting high up there, and I have a lot of cards that are pretty good at towards end game. Power the Shredders, uh, Confessor, what's her name? Paltris. Ah, Doctor Balance. Much scary. Ah, just going phase. He's like, you know what? He's putting a bunch of big scary stuff on the board, and he's just going for it. Honestly, can't say I blame him, but. Yes, and doodly. Alright, so we put out that. We heal up. Run you into you. Get that annoying thing off the board. Alright, we get a couple big and scary things. I'm actually okay with that. And then, Dr. Balance? No, we get. I think we get rid of this. A little 2 3. And then, that way we don't give him that right away. He's still, he's still gonna be able to draw cards with his Loot Hoarder. Let's see, how much damage do you even have on the board? So he's got. 9, 10. He's only got 11 damage on the board. Potentially 19. If uh, both of his things hit my face and both do 4 damage. But yeah, he didn't go for that, obviously. He's going to be trying to kill off the Shredder, which I think is hilarious. Because the Shredder is going to hopefully give me some good... No! 4 damage! I can't afford no 4 damage to the face right now. Yeah! Now that's what I could use. That's what I could use. A Murloc Knight. Does he have a board clear? Like, this, this could be potentially horrible for him. He's got power overwhelming. Which is that no piece silence, so it's not really gonna help him much. Shadow Flame. Oh my goodness. I didn't have time to like comprehend everything that was happening here, but I'm pretty sure I've lost. I don't think there's really anything I can draw here which will uh, save the game for me. God, what gee, Shadow Flame destroyed friendly minion deals attacked all enemy. Oh gosh, he just massacred me. He massacred me. That's a concede right there. Jeez. That play right there, I was setting up pretty well too, but man, that play right there just ended it. Dr. Balance, too much. Too much. Well, the thing about Dr. Boom, which I never even, uh, I didn't even consider it when I was putting together my deck. Uh, let's type in Boom. See, Dr. Boom, his 1-1 one, one Boom bots, they have a death throttle, so I suppose that death throttle will twi uh, twigger, trigger twice. So, wow. Yeah, it's actually really, really powerful. It's really good. I didn't even think about it. Dr. Balance even more balanced than what it usually is. So I could definitely uh, buy, drop the Confessor there and put in Dr. Boom for sure. Wow. So let's actually do that real quick. And uh, if, so if I decide to play this deck a little bit later, I'm definitely going to mess around with that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the Double Death Rattler Battler. Another week, another Tavern Brawl. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please leave your rating. And apparently it ends in 17 hours, so I'm glad I caught it today. Because I had no idea it was actually going to be ending relatively soon. I'm like, wait a minute, I can't miss the Tavern Brawl. That would stink. That would just really, really stink. And you know what? I have 125 gold. I've actually been playing a bit of Arena. And not doing so well in it. I've done like three straight arenas where I got like the best one I had was like four wins, I think. And so I think I'm just going to buy a pack rather than uh, spending that gold on the arena. So we'll open up the pack here at the end of the video. And hopefully you guys will be some good luck. And maybe we'll get something good. Come on, baby. Can you guys feel it? No. No. Rare. Probably no. No. And no. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, I don't think I actually had the Holy Champion. Whatever character was healed, gain plus two attack. That could be potentially scary. Uh, especially with a circle of healing. Uh, would that count for, like... Yeah, would, would, would each individual thing healed by the circle of healing, like, do that? Or would it just be only triggering once? I don't know. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's Tavern Brawl. If you did, remember to leave a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.